hello everyone so in last video we have seen about the practical part like how actually we can create a user in AWS okay so we have seen about the IAM user in this particular video we are going to see about the IAM group okay so for taking an example why we use the IAM group is like suppose uh, in your organization 10 developers are joining okay and they need a amazon s3 storage okay they want to access the s3 storage okay so what you will do you will create all the user and you will try to uh, add them in a group okay and in the group what is the policy you are assigned you are already assigned a policy like in a group whoever is added they will be having a access to the s3 okay so that is how actually it is useful so what i will do i will go to my amazon console here I will search for the what I will do I will search for the I am okay what we will see we will see about the I am group how actually we can create it okay now previous video we have seen about the user now in this video we will see about the user group so click on the user group in the left side okay click on the create group okay here I am creating a group name is as a developer okay so this is the group name I am assigning <coughs> okay after that it will show all the user uh, which is there uh, so but as of now I am not adding any user here okay and what is the permission you are giving so uh, I am assigning a permission of the EC2 okay so whoever uh, will be uh, adding in the group will be having a EC2 access so I will select that okay and create group okay so this group has access of the ec2 so whoever will be in this particular group they can easily access to the uh, they can easily access to the ec2 okay now if i will click on the group developer okay now from here you can add a user so i'll click on the add user okay so what i will do this uh, data analysis i will add as of now this uh, data analysis has only the amazon s3 access ec2 access doesn't have so i will try to add this data analyst okay so i have added this okay now what will happen this data analyst will be having a ec2 access also okay so what i will do i'll just click on the data analyst okay go to the security credential and this is the console and we'll try to log in okay we will try to log in and we'll see whether this user has a ec2 access or not so what is my username and the password okay now we'll see whether this user has a ec2 access or not because we have added them in a group so i'll search for the ec2 ec2 now you can see this user is able to access to the ec2 instance okay so that's how actually the groups work okay so if the if you if you have a 10 developer and you are adding into a if you'll create one group and you will add them in a one single group so whatever the group access they has they all will get the same access so that is how actually we follow in a industry i hope you got it